Hey guys, I'm Leela from Ukulele Therapy. I'm a music therapist, a mental health counselor, and I use music and expressive arts in fun, creative, and research-based ways to help with mental health issues, wellness, and self-development. Today, we're gonna talk about how to use music therapy for ADHD. First, we're gonna talk about some traits of ADHD, then we'll go into some practical music therapy tips that you can use if you have ADHD. So there's really three types of ADHD. There's the hyperactive type, the stereotypical one that you see when someone gets really hyper energetic, or there's the inattentive type, which is where you get easily distracted or kind of spacey sometimes. And then there's a the combined type where you have a little bit of both. So just some common traits that kind of cover all the types of ADHD are difficulty with emotion regulation, difficulty with things like time management, prioritizing, organizing, and planning, difficulty focusing, impulsiveness, or restlessness. And although ADHD can be difficult to live with at times, I do think that there are a lot of strengths to it. People who have ADHD are often pretty creative. They're often really good problem solvers. They have a lot of resiliency and ability to persevere just because things can be a little more difficult for them. And people who have ADHD take in more in their environment around them, which is why I think they can be really good at problem solving and being creative. But it also means that you pick up on things and you might notice things that other people don't. People with ADHD can also be really focused and get really in the zone with things that they're interested in. So let's talk about some practical music therapy applications that might be helpful for some of these more challenging traits of ADHD. The first one that might be helpful that I use sometimes is humming a tune to things that you need to remember. So for example, say I'm doing a bunch of tasks around the house and I know I'm gonna forget to clean the sink and then I'm gonna have to make the bed and then I'm gonna have to take out the trash. So I might make a song out of those three things that I have to do. Something like. I actually forgot the list of things I just listed to make the song. Um, so that's kind of ironic. But let's say clean the sink, take out the trash. Clean the sink, make the bed, take out the trash. Clean the sink, make the bed, take out the trash. Clean the sink, make the bed, take out the trash, and then sometimes it'll even get stuck in my head, which is what I want. I want it to get stuck in my head so I don't forget what I have to do. Another one that might seem a little obvious is just using music to clear your mind. So maybe if you're feeling really scrambled and there's a lot of thoughts going on, listening to music can be really helpful in focusing on one thing. And I recommend it be something that is slower in tempo just because our blood pressure and our heart tends to match the tempo of music. So if it's something slower, we're gonna feel more calm. Another thing that you could do if you have trouble focusing on a task is creating a playlist with a time limit with the amount of time that you want to complete the task. So like if I wanna sit and do homework for 30 minutes, I'll create a 30 minute playlist. And so I know that when that playlist is done, then I can take a break. It's kind of like those toothbrushes for kids that play the two minute song and then you, they know when the song's over, you're done brushing your teeth. And another thing to note, sometimes it's not helpful for some people to have music playing in the background to focus. Um, but if it is something that's instrumental and doesn't have as much going on, something that's repetitive, has minimal changes, usually that's more effective. Also just a fun fact that I wanna throw in there, people with ADHD, their brains don't produce as much dopamine as someone who doesn't. And guess what music produces in our brain? Dopamine, match made in heaven? perhaps. So I hope that this was helpful and if it was, please like, share, and subscribe. I post videos about wellness and mental health and how to use music therapy and expressive arts and all that good stuff. Also, let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any suggestions or questions about future videos. Thanks for watching!